crowds and couldn't get any rain. They don't like me because I've been successful. Mr. Toyer says over the past six years, his success rate with the Toyer rate maker has been 100%. Later this month, his machine will be taken into the Australian desert in a bid to prove its ability to create rainfall where none has fallen before. It's a test that Mr. Toyer has no qualms about at all. Well, I've been out to Chinchilla in West Queensland. I've been to Dubbo in dry area in New South Wales twice. And uh, each time I've put up rain. How much rain? Well, the last time at Dubbo, or oh, out of Dubbo, about 50 miles out of Dubbo, I put up from two to nine inches of rain over an area of a thousand square miles. Imagine the effect something like this could have on our globe. If successful, famine would be a thing of the past, drought a memory, and agriculture a sure bet. The person who holds the key could ask for the sky. Fifteen million dollars. Fifteen million. Yeah. How do you arrive at a figure like that? Well, there's the, there's the 20 years of technology that I've put in it that's got to be paid for some way. And uh, uh, I've already got two inquiries now that look a bit firm for a machine at $15 million each. Mr. Toyer says both the Saudis and the Chinese are showing interest in buying his machine. But here in Australia, there are a few skeptics. Maybe the idea of meddling with Mother Nature is too much for some of us to comprehend. I'm not playing God. I am just an ordinary individual that's interested in the success of this machine, which would bring a lot of people out of the doldrums that they're in at the moment. <laughs> Toy when the farmers needed him. When relations sound the Australian Labour Party, they rip. Pretty enough to try it out. I've got my